Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x squared minus y squared this is equal to 65. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y given that x and y these are members of positive integers. So let's provide a solution from here. We have x squared subtract y squared this is equal to 65. Now, x squared minus y squared, this is actually in the form of difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. That we can express as a plus b. Then we have a minus b. So applying this identity, then here we have x plus y multiplied by x minus y. This is equal to 65. And we have that x plus y. This is greater than x minus y. Now, following this condition here, the next step is to get the prime factors of 65. Now, we have 65 multiplied by 1. If you see 65 times 1, this is 65. We have 1 times 65. We have 5 multiplied by 13, and then we have 13 multiplied by 5. So we have that x plus y is greater than x minus y. So 65 is greater than 1, so this satisfies the condition. Then 1 is less than 65, so this part is rejected. 5 is less than 13, so this is rejected too. And we have that 13 is greater than 5. This is acceptance. So we have, this is case 1. And we have case 2 here. So let's start with case 1. Let's start with case 1. In case 1, we have x plus y multiplied by x minus y. This is equal to 65 multiplied by 1. So let's form systems of linear equations here. We have x plus y. This is equal to 65. And we have x subtract y. This is equal to 1. So these are systems of two linear equations. So that let's add these two systems of linear equations. So that now we have x plus x. This is 2x. And we have that y plus minus y, this simplifies, then 65 plus 1, this is equal to 66. So let's divide both signs by 2, so we divide here by 2, and this implies that x here is equal to 66 divided by 2, this is equal to 33. So we can solve for the corresponding value of y, given that x plus y, this is equal to 65. We have x is equal to 33, then plus y, this is equal to 65. The next step is to take 33 on the right hand side, so that we have y, this is equal to 65, minus 33. 65 minus 33, this means that the value of y is equal to 32. So we have the first set of solution here x comma y this is equal to 33 comma 32 so this is the first set of solution that we have the next step is to proceed to case 2 now in case 2 here we have x plus y multiplied by x minus y this is equal to 13 multiplied by 5 so we have x plus y this is equal to 13, and we have that x minus y, this is equal to 5. Now, these are systems of Turing equations, so let's, let's add these two systems of Turing equations. We have x plus x, this is 2x, y plus minus y, this simplifies, then we have 13 plus 5, and this is equal to 18. So, we have 2x this is equal to 18. So let's divide both signs by 2. 
and this implies that here we have that the value of x is equal to 9. We can solve the corresponding value of y given that x plus y this is equal to 13. This implies that here we have 9 plus y this is equal to 13. So let's take 9 on the right hand side so that we have y is equal to 13 subtract 9. And this means that y is equal to, this is the same thing as 4. So the second set of solution here, x comma y, this is equal to 9 comma 4. So this is the second set of solution that we have. Now, let's verify that these two set of solutions satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we are saying that x squared minus y squared, this is supposed to give us a value of 65. Now, let's start from case 1. We have the first set of solution here, x comma y, this is 33, that's 2. So given x comma y equal to 33, comma that 2, then we can substitute here so that we have 33 squared minus 32 squared. This should give us a value of 65. So that the 3 squared, this is 1089, subtract that the 2 squared, and this is equal to 1024. So this is supposed to give us a value of 65. So 1089 minus 1064, this is equal to 65, which is equal to 65. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this proves that xy, which is 33, comma that 2 satisfies the equation so let's check x comma y which is 9 4 now let's verify x comma y which is 9 and 4 now we have x squared minus y squared this should give us a value of 65 so this is 9 squared subtract 4 squared this is supposed to give us a value of 65 9 squared, this is 81, minus 4 squared, which is 16. This should give us a value of 65. So 81 minus 16, this is equal to 65, which is equal to 65. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x, y, which is 9, 4, satisfies the equation so kind of follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video